guys, welcome back, it's Melody, and I was just eating cookies, about to start editing, and I realized that I didn't film the morning routine intro, so here I am. Hopefully it doesn't look like I'm missing any teeth because I have any chocolate in my teeth. I mean, we've been here for a while, so you know me, I know you. We can get to the taking it for granted stage of our relationship. I'm just gonna let my appearance slide. This is probably not the best video for you to have found me on. Hopefully you can find a tip that you can use and definitely give the channel a subscribe because I'm definitely more polished in the average Sunday video. So definitely give the channel a subscribe so I can see you next Sunday. But we're gonna get right into this because I don't have a penchant for long intros, generally speaking. I like to keep it short and sweet. I just thought I would do a vlog form of my daily routine because I thought, why not? It will be more personal. My morning routine starts the same. I'm sleeping, and usually I'm not even sleeping with a pillow, so this pillow <laughs> is put aside. I can't fall asleep with a pillow underneath my head. It's just something that I have always been like ever since I was little, and my phone is charged and my phone is always next to me plugged in with my favorite drinking cup. My alarm rings every morning at exactly 7.55 a.m. and I turn it off and sleep for exactly five more minutes, my absolute deadline. And at exactly eight, I will get up and walk into the bathroom to brush my teeth and get dressed. So I move on over. I usually leave my toothbrush out. I really like the Tom of Maine Clean Mint. And once I'm done with that, I use the bathroom, which you don't need to see that. And then I come into the closet where I will get dressed. I'll also grab a hair tie because nobody needs hair getting into your face while you're working. I recently moved my office into here, so you'll see some footage where it's in, still in the living room. I don't do a lot of work on this particular laptop because it's just my steno job. And I do my steno job for three hours a day because I want to have lots of time to do filming. But it's just the perfect schedule for me. And that's what I like about court reporting is you can pretty much pick what you want out of the profession. You don't have to let it run you over. If you're real time, you can do whatever you want with it. You don't have to work in courthouses or in depot rooms. You can do television too. But I always use my key commands. Now I can hit the F4 button without even thinking about it. So I've talked about key commands before, but if you do a lot of computer work, you should be able to turn things on, close windows, do things like that with just key commands. The more you hit the mouse, the more inefficient it, it becomes. So basically with my steno machine here, I can hit this and I can hit all the keys all at once. So if they say the word cat, for instance, I hear K. I don't hear a C sound because there is no C sound. I only hear the phonetics. So I hear cat and I can hit K-A-T all down all at once. So all the keys are getting depressed down at once. It's not like the quarter keyboard where you have to one, two, one, two, one, two. It's very inefficient that way. You can hit them all at once. And if the guy that I'm captioning for is always saying for crying out loud, then I can do flout. I can create flout to be for crying out loud. So my computer will translate all of that instantaneously. So as the broadcaster is speaking, I'm having all of the paragraphing, all of the punctuation. My mind just puts it all in. And then when they're done after the three hours, it takes me about 20 minutes and I edit it all and I send it off to them and then they can use from that radio broadcast, they can use my transcript. So this laptop here plays the audio. So if this laptop crashes, I'll grab my phone and I'll play it off of the app, the radio. And then this laptop is translating everything instantaneously from my machine. So I have a dictionary and a very expensive software loaded onto there that translates it all for me. So it can be absolutely instantaneous. I hope that didn't bore you, but that's basically what I do. The last thing I wanna say is I took down that mirror. I used to have a mirror there. I gotta patch up those holes, but I find that it's more relaxing in the bedroom when the walls aren't stark white and also when there's not a lot of mirrors because mirrors are bad feng shui and I'm not one that practices feng shui, but there's some parts about it that's alluring and neutral colors in the bedroom like browns on the bed and also having very few mirrors makes the room feel enclosed 
and relaxing. I eat the same thing every single day. It's pretty crazy. And I recently got some strawberries for Mother's Day. Hot, you shouldn't have. But this strawberry is huge. Look at that, guys. I mean, clearly somebody's been putting a pesticide in something, am I right? I always have apples on hand and I always take those two out. I grab my crackers and sometimes I'll even grab salsa. I was just at the supermarket the other day and they had so much fruit. I'm telling you guys, in the winter months it's so easy to get down because there's no sunshine and there's also all the boring vegetables. Ain't nobody want the brown and orange vegetables. Okay, I know that there's some of you that love the brown and <laughs> yellow vegetables, I'm sure. But for me, I really like the vibrant ones. I want the cherries, I want the watermelons, and that is the season we're in right now. So as you can see, Pat is really happy because she's shedding all the fur and she's ready to eat. I immediately come into here and I grab my chips, I grab my crackers, and I head to the table. I grab my placemat, which I probably should move my placemats into here since I'm grabbing them around here. Why can't I just think of all these improvements to start with? One of the improvements I found recently was to move all of my taco packets and my stew packets into here. So this is the napkins from the drive throughs and this is my packets. Another thing you can do is you can take out the, the spices and put them in spice jars so that it doesn't look so colorful and loud. So now it looks nice and clean. And this is the garlic section. This is the potato and onion. Clearly I haven't been cooking that much because it's summer and there's too much to do. What do you see, Pat? Oh, she sees a dog? After I'm done eating, I clean up and I start cooking with my crock pot, or in this case, the Instant Pot, which is incredible. I wasn't sure how I liked the Instant Pot for a while, but man, when I made my first curry in there and everything was tender and juicy, I said to myself, this is the way forward. <laughs> so my Instant Pot, can't recommend it highly enough. And after that, I will usually go and fix the bed, which takes one second. I did want to mention that I've been using this water filter on the faucet and I absolutely love it. So sometimes I'll be out of water in the morning, I'll come and fill it up. I just have to hit on this button for the water filter and this button for the regular faucet. I love, love this and it's really affordable too. And I come in here and I get some cookies because I usually will have one bag of cookies every other day. So I'll fill up my water, grab my cookies, and scurry into this bedroom because I'm, my show is literally starting at 8.07. You know that INCJs like to cut corners and they like to be really efficient and sometimes that burns us right in the butt. If I miss it and it starts, I can play on my app, but that literally never happens. I'm pretty dang accurate. I will also come into the living room and feed Pat, usually before I eat, because if I don't feed her first, then she will be trying to eat what I'm eating. I hung up this picture recently, which I really like, but I have to cut out, I have to cut out the middle. Of course it's clear. I mean, come on. I don't even know why I drilled it into the wall now that I think of it. I should have used Velcro. Ugh. Again, my inspiration's coming after the fact. So I usually feed Pat. Why are you always hungry, Pat? You're getting so fat. People don't even think you're a girl anymore. They all think you're a guy cat. You've lost your womanly figure. Cat told her if she didn't watch her weight, all of a sudden she'd be amorphous. And look what happened. She's just one big glob. People are wondering if animals are minimalist. No, animals are not minimalist and they definitely aren't cheap. I've had Pat for 10 years now, so I had her when I was very little. And you know that older cats, they're the least likely to get adopted. So if you're going to get a cat, I would say get an older cat because they're the most lovable. When she was younger, she was a lot of work. She was all over everything. <laughs> she never scratches anything. That's the one good thing about Pat. Some, some cats will scratch up everything. And the very last thing I'll do is I'll come to the living room. I'll put on some music on my phone because I don't have ads. And I will work on a video on my notebook or I will edit. And I know that these are just makeshift <laughs> side tables. Here I have my camera that I keep over here, my notebooks, my laptop, and my magazines and my books, whatever reading material I am currently on. And this is just for drinks, basically. <laughs> but 
I will probably get a better end table than that. That's really just the laptop tray for Steno. I will watch a movie and I will relax and work on videos and maybe even nap. My recycle is clearly full and maybe even nap, but I really shouldn't because that will throw off my whole schedule. So I hope that you guys like this morning routine. It's very simple. That's just the way that I like it because it makes my life as efficient and productive as possible. It gives me ample time to devote to filming and traveling and also developing relationships with other people. So I hope that you like this video. If you did, give me a like, find me on Facebook, and I'll see you in the next Minimalist and Organization video next Sunday.